Sixers have the basketball. Simmons to Tobias Harris. They go down low to Simmons. Oh, ben Simmons. The defense is really going to have to start paying attention. He's five for five for the field. This may sound cheesy, but sometimes you just need to sit back, get a tub of popcorn, and just enjoy the show because that's what you're watching right now. Joel Embiid, huge block. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. The crossover gets inside and the slam dunk. I know this for a fact, Ed. Ben Simmons wanted to channel his inner Bill Russell during the NBA Awards as he stood up on that stage accepting that Rookie of the Year trophy, looking down at all the people that hated on him and didn't think that after a year of being injured that he can come back and be the one that everybody thought he could be. One of only seven players in NBA history to lead his team to 50-plus wins while accepting the Rookie of the Year trophy. Tough-looking shot good there. Shot, buddy. Good Still shot, buddy. gets it to go down. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. Simmons with it. 14 point deficit to Tobias Harris. Simmons. It was right there. Oh, yeah, see you, see you. Over to the right side, Dragic. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Not that time. To MB. To Tobias Harris. Oh, emphatic slam. We get a whistle and a timeout here for Miami as their coach wants to get a word in with his guys here in this third quarter. Changes coming from both sides right now. Baller into the front court. Up a dozen. Leaving no doubt. Slams it down. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. Philadelphia with the basketball. Brunson to Richardson. Not done yet. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. To Richardson. Deep left corner. Oh! You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted down, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. Now a steal by Philly. One minute left in the third quarter. Harris to Brunson. And counted at the rim. And, Ed, here's my offensive theory. More touches, more points. This is a fast-paced lead. Either the coaches adapt or you'll be left behind. Cruises inside for two. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the past. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. That's his first personal foul. Team foul number one, Miami Heat are in. Tobias Harris at the line for two shots. A career 81% free throw shooter. Shooting two. Into the game for the 76ers. Number 
second one off the mark. He Burke with it. His guys holding the big lead. To Waiters. Jumpers good. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch. And that's oh. Knocked away. It's getting dangerous down there. And I hated getting my shot blocked like that. But I did like getting the ball right back. Coach is going to shift gears and adjust his matchups. Embiid to Allen. Finishing inside the paint on that one. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. It's the heat with the possession. And he knocks it down. Jay, nice look right there. No doubt about where that one was headed. Paul Neto against Leonard. Here comes the screen. I got your help here. To MB. Rises for the slam. It's that easy, Ed. You never want to leave any doubt when attacking the rim. A bad pass as the Sixers come up with the steal. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in a playoff game, it will. To Allen. Rebounds taken down by Leonard. And you knew this game had a chance to get out of hand pretty quickly because of the communication. When these guys stepped on the court, Ed, they were yapping back and forth to each other. And that kind of communication, that kind of collective responsibility to one another, you feel that on the court. That's why this team is special. To Horford. Using the post to his advantage there and the finish at the rim. If you didn't dunk that, then we would have to talk about it. Count the basket at the rim. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. Scores from the post. Old school equals high percentage. Slams it down. At this point, they're twisting in the wind. Were you looking for a response from me? Because I don't really know what else there is to even say. I mean, is this even a game? I mean, we should just start packing up and getting ready to go right now. It's in the hands of Philadelphia. To Embiid. Grayson Allen. To MB. Screen, 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 screen. D2 slams it home on the putback. Woo, that's nasty right there. Sixers with four to shoot. Horford. Man, that was a tough shot. That's one of those plays when you go against somebody and you say, okay, I've been watching you. Now, let me do your move and actually show you how it's done. 
lets it fly from long range. I don't know, Jay. They have a big lead. This game is just about over. He might not make many friends on the other side with that three. Oh, I don't want to hear that generic coaching speak about dwindle down the shot clock, use the clock, the clock is your friend. No, if you have a chance to beat him by 50, beat him by 50. If you want to beat him by 100, keep shooting more threes. Another chance. Oh, working hard there. Collects the rebound and gets it back up for the slam. If you know anything, it, it comes ball. down to ball. who wants it more. It. And right Here now, the offense is just hungry. Count the basket. Two more points in the paint. There are certain guys in this league that should be put on alert status 24-7 because either they're posterizing you or that attempt can still be a poster. Sixers control it. Uh, passed it off. And look out. Big finish at the rim. He took it out on the rim that time. Oh, there's no better feeling than after throwing that one down, hanging on the rim a little bit, looking at your opponent beneath you, making him recognize that's where you'll be the entire ball game. For three, cleans it up. On the follow, way to stay with it. Look, there was barely any contact on that last play. I agree with the ref's no call. Let him play. Short jumper stays out. The Heat with the victory as they win this one in very convincing fashion. That'll wrap things up. For Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. game wrap-up. The Heat put one in the win column with a solid performance. You ask me, and I'll tell you, it was the ball movement that made all the difference. There's something to be said for a team that can win as a group, and that's what happened here today. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Miami Heat. The 76ers just couldn't get within striking distance toward the end of the game. I'm sure they can't help but feel frustrated with the result, but they can't let that feeling linger. Sooner than later, they need to start thinking about the next matchup. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Philadelphia 76ers. Game stats. Player of the game. And while you can't track leadership on a stat sheet, it was by far the most impressive thing he did in this game. Who was cold? What can you say about a guy like this? Except that he fits the title of this segment. He was definitely cold in this game. Top plays, and we've got three of them for you. Number two. Here in the final third of the season are the remaining games. On behalf of Ed Cohen and Jay Williams, this is Jalen Rose signing off.
energizer. Yeah, I'm still playing no like Elijah. In the gut, no my. Yeah, 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 I miss 
Jersey really respects you for putting some respect on my hometown's name. But you know what? We're going to have a big time matchup this evening as the guys are getting ready to battle down on the court. Let's do it. They're ready to go, and so are we. And away we go. To Embiid. Oh, big finish at the rim. Oh, that's a great way to make an opening statement. It's about the team that's able to punch the other team in the mouth first. That's exactly what you want to do if you're the road team. LeBron so special on the offensive end. Well, first and foremost, look at that frame. 6'9", 265 pounds with the agilities of a guard. He's going to blow by you. If he dips that shoulder, there's no way. There is nobody in the NBA that can guard that man one-on-one. -on -one. Nothing going here on that drive to James. Knocked loose. That's out of bounds. Last touch by LeBron. Trying to cash in. James shot no good. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Right, keep right, knocking right. him off balance. Shot, Here's shot. a chance from long range. Knocks it down. It doesn't matter if it's off the dribble, off a quick pass, or off an ISO. When the ball is in this young player's hands, something just feels right. It's in the hands of James Harden. That's a turnover. Not it goes day. the other way. Finishing inside the paint on that one. And if you're on defense on that last possession, no need to look over to the coach's bench, hold up your arms, wonder what did you do. Everybody got back. Everybody communicated. Everybody pointed. It was just better offense than there was defense. Don't stare him down like that I afterwards. Got ball, I got ball, I got ball. Hey, 
hey, hey, hey. Screen, screen, screen. With the interception, great defensive play I'm to James. Giannis Adetokounmpo pins it. Continuous effort is the key for your team's success. No I'm one this I'm entire I'm ball game has quit on a play. That right there, that's what's going to help your team win this game. The screen sets him up for two. Bread and butter. And there are a few that can do it better off the screen. with the putback slam. Woo, that's nasty right there. It's me, it's me, I got it. Fires the three. Not that get time. Get that boy, get that boy. Lillard to Jokic. Yeah, Blocked away. On Sent a message on that one, Ed. Pass to the rim. I did a Kunbo. 4-3. Not getting the bounce. Hart with the basketball. Nine-point margin. And stuffs it home. Mm-hmm. We call that get your money and put it in the bank. <laughs> Count it. No and one. There was some contact there. They're going to have to find answers defensively and quickly because he's carving them up in the first quarter. It's in the hands of Harden. I drive to the basket, but it somehow stays out. And that's how you make a difference. Every shot is out. Leaves his man in the dust and finishes at the rim. Man, he's got the defender out there tap dancing like that on national TV. That's not a good sign. to Jokic. Oh, Nikola Jokic. Two for two. Hey, That's what you want. One. Old school equals high percentage. To Irving. Perfect feed to set up the basket. Oh, he teased me a little bit right there. But see, I like that. That's called a great entertainer. Always leaving me on the edge of my seat. Now their head coach signals for a timeout. They'll regroup before the action continues. New blood coming in for both sides. Finish at the rim. Jay, perhaps that's a start. Those kind of plays get me fired up. That's a momentum play. They look lifeless here in the first quarter, but a dunk like that can get your team going in the right direction. To Vucevic. Cash is in for two. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, 
that's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. To James. Hey, let it fly. Let it fly. Watch the shot. Watch the shot. LeBron shot. That's no good. You know, Ed, everybody gives so much credit to the guy who contested the shot, but there's no way he's in that position oh, without boy, the communication of the backbone of the defense. When you have a guy back there, there who ball, can block shots and tells you to apply more pressure, you know you're in a safe place. Jokic to James. Short jumper. One fall. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Screen coming, screen coming. To Oladipo. From long range, buries it on the catch and shoot. He showed that he had great chemistry with his teammates on that shot. Keep getting him good looks, and the one will just keep scoring. At the rim, count it. Had a difficult first quarter. Couldn't really find his rhythm, but you got three more left to play. To Griffin. Got it. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Lillard to James. Oh, Nikola Jokic. That's now four. He hasn't missed. It's going to be a long road back. I'm not going to lie to you. But it's only the first quarter, and that's exactly what you needed. You needed to see the ball go in a couple of times. Nothing going here on that drive. Just inside the arc. At the buzzer. That's all for this entertaining first quarter of the NBA All-Star Game. Jay and I return after this. You're watching a special presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. With The Rock, it's oh, Chris yes. Paul. Me and you, me and you. To Leonard. Take <gasps> stock of the floor. Here comes the screen. Screen right, screen right, screen right. Leonard to Paul. Let's it fly from beyond the arc, smothering D. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. Count the basket inside. Showing you why he belongs here in this league with the best of the best. Efficient scoring out of the rookie here tonight. down for three. Yeah, they really need him to get going. Really surprised that none of his teammates have been talking to him. This is when he needs him the most. They have to uplift him, help him continue to be confident on the court. To Oladipo. 
Shot clock, it's coming down to four. Now down to three to Adetokunbo. Let's it fly from long range. The danger of the Greek freak. Giannis Adetokunbo, hand in his face, still knocks it down for three. Ooh, welcome to the new reality. Positionless basketball. Bigs are now PGs with the ability to drain threes. LeBron into the front court. 14-point deficit. Here comes the screen. Leonard to James. Slams it down. And there was no stopping him that time. Defenders had no chance on that one. That's why we call it the elite tier. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line. The fourth round is goal time. I got him, I got him. Giannis Adetokounmpo swats it. That kid can block out the sun, Ed. To Harden. Oh, oh, he just blocked that shot out of bounds. Jay, they're lucky they get the ball back. Harden. Here's James for two. And scores. Nice move, Jay. The one thing we know for certain in this league, it doesn't matter how big the margin is, you can always put together a run and get back in this one. Layup goes down. Well done. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Into the front court. Down a bundle. Oh, emphatic slam. This offseason, I heard so many voices. Even that of the great Shaquille O'Neal. Talking about how LBJ needed to submit his own legacy. Well, for LeBron, it's not about chasing external accolades. It's about hunting your own legacy. And that's to be the greatest of all time. To Jokic. Nothing going here on that drive. Giannis Adetokounmpo uh, tips it. Oladipo into the front court. They lead it by 14. Victor Oladipo with the slam. You know, Ed, the effort is what concerns me the most. Effort is replenishable. If you're tired, raise your hand, check yourself out. Get somebody who actually wants to get back in transition and play some defense. That will help your team win the game, not you just staying in the game to be better on offense. Harden in possession. His guys down big to Jokic. James goes to the right side. Two-point shot shooter. for James Harden. It's... You don't stand in his way, he's going to beat you pay. You know what I like about this pass play? Instead of putting his head down and forcing the action, he patiently waited for the play to develop. They've got it now. Here's Paul. Brings it up the floor. To Jokic. Slam dunk. Here on their home floor, they're chipping away. I mean, does this crowd have a pulse? Are they even alive? Sometimes when you make a play like that, your crowd needs to get you back in this ball game. Beyond the arc for three. Drills the three. He's most definitely got the hot hand behind the three-point arc. Anytime your first-round pick is shooting like this, your GMs and owners just sit back and smile. LeBron into the front court. Trailing by 15. Knocked loose. It's a turnover as they head the other way. Looking for his man, Irving. Off the assist. Get it the game. Can make something happen. Jokic to James. And finishes strong. 
It's not every day that you see a 6'9", 265-pound freight train coming down hey, the lane. You probably want to step out of the way. To Embiid. Joel Embiid. That's how it's done. He's four for four in the game. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. The pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Knock loose. Harden. Well defended. A big time coaching strategy by the staff right there. Utilizing their bench, keeping fresh legs on that shooter consistently throughout the course of the game. For three, not that time. He misses. To Porzingis. KP, Chris stops Porzingis. Better late than never. That was his first shot, and it goes down. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. To Adeta Kumbo. Fires the three. Not Watch going out. down here. To Paul. Slams it down. An easy two. Get back on defense. The screen sets him up for two. Hey, one of the things I hear all the great teams say in the huddle, they say one, two, three, no mercy. Now it's time for you to go even That's harder on the defensive end. Screen coming. Harden to James. Old school. Backs his man down oh, for the basket. <laughs> cold shooting like this in the second half you have to find other ways to score than just relying on the three-point shot maybe try turning that corner off that pnr and get into the rack that one off the mark it's no good paul with it up top the deficit now up to 13. to harden has a chance Hard shot, no good. Let's be realistic. He's probably not going to miss a lot of shots. But the more effort you can give, you want to try to tire him out. Take his legs away. Make him work to catch the ball. That's how you win a defensive battle. Porzingis to Harden. Fires the three. Message received. Well defended. Hey, check up. Let's go. Here comes the screen. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. And you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. Free throw good to cap off the three-point play as they continue to open things up here in the third quarter. Ball in the front court. Go on the offense. Stops it down with authority. Come on. You knew that setup was coming the whole game. Ah, but you were patient and you waited until the right moment to use it. Straight on three. At the buzzer. Fourth quarter getting underway as it's Team LeBron with the ball first. And so we start, let's do it. And number 14. Yeah. Up, up. James to Hart. Finishing inside the paint on that one. That might have been 
a little bit easier than expected there, considering the score. Screen coming, screen coming. Watch out, watch out. Here comes screen, here comes screen. I got your help here. 4 3. That's your boy. Missed That's it. Your boy. Welcome to the roller coaster ride of basketball. Just because you are knocking down those open looks in the first half doesn't mean you're going to knock them down all game long. D has got it. Damian Lillard, very efficient and making an impact. He's three for three. And a lot of folks last year, including myself, were surprised that Dame was named first team All NBA ahead of Russell Westbrook. Look, I love Dame's game, but come on, man. Russ averaged a triple double for the second season in a row. Stop it. James go. Go. in the front court. The ball. deficit now up to five. Take get back, get back, get back, get back, From get back, one range, it's Aiden with the rebound. I got ball. I got ball. Joe LMB rejects it. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. How you practice leads to that nice pump fake. Look at that, calm under pressure. You see a lot of guys rush those. Nice extra move there. Oh, ben Simmons. He's three of five, 60% shooting from the field. As a rookie last year, Ben Simmons averaged 16 points a game and posted 12 triple doubles, the second most by any rookie in NBA history. Or was last year really his rookie year? We can debate that one later. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Misfires. It's no good. This always happens. You knock down a lot of shots in the first half, and in the second half, you start to lose your rhythm. You need to have the legs. Shoot at the pinnacle of that jump. Good recovery. It's still theirs. James to Lillard. Knock loose. Love the hustle. Sprawl down on the deck. We get the next one. You can do it's it. It's James. And Simmons, the rebound. Adds two points to the board. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. Incredible timing on that swap. Tosses. Simmons. Going to launch. Beyond the arc. Yes. Three-pointer is good. Mm. When a rookie starts to believe that he not only can play, but more importantly, he belongs, nights like this become more and more common. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. To Porzingis. Harden to Lillard. Pick, pick. All cooking. Trying to shot, cash shot, in. D has got it. Damian Lillard. Oh, nice. That's nice. now four. He hasn't missed. It seems like yesterday I was rapping with this kid during the NBA pre-draft workout. He looks scrawny. Nobody knew if he could really make it. But the arrow continues to point straight up for Dame Lillard. Another terrific season. A first-time All-NBA first-team player. Tied for fourth in the league in scoring last year. This kid is no doubt about it. Dame time. Tough make through traffic. Mm. Usually rookies allow themselves to get sped up because they're so hyped to play against the greats. But you... You got a different speed to your game. It's called poise. Here we go. I got ball. I got ball. To Porzingis. The drive. Right to the basket. Yes. And a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. So many times we get on the defender for quote-unquote letting the offensive player score on an and one. Sometimes there's a lucky bounce, but more often than not, it's the offensive player who makes the play happen despite the defender's best intentions. Pick up, pick up, Intentional pick up. foul. He meant it. Smart play. You have fouls to use. Good way to manage the clock without burning a timeout. Let's it fly from long range. Oh, I bailed him out. Fouls him shooting the three. Not what you wanted. You never really want to foul a shooter, but if you do, ensure they're going to have a tough time converting. 
That's good knowledge of personnel. Knocks down the first. Second of three is good. Takes advantage of the foul. Three for three at the line. It's Harden. <laughs> Brings the ball up. To Lillard. Here comes the screen. Oh, Aaron pass as it's taken away. You go back to the principles, things that hey, we started up, working on up. when we were in first and second grade. It's called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively, you try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad... Oh, how about that? A three at the buzzer is going to bring some icy stares from the other bench. This one is now all over. time for the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The East All-Stars almost let this one get away from them, but they managed to get the victory. The defense in this matchup was outstanding. When they weren't blocking shots, they were making steals, and it all came together for a terrific win. The East can point to these guys for their scoring output. The West All-Stars just couldn't close this one out. And even though they shot so well from the field, I bet they're only thinking about the shots they miss. This was a tough game to lose. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the West All-Stars. Game prep. Three-point shooting. Each of these teams were solid with their long-range shooting. So by extension, they were pretty poor with their perimeter defense. Closing out on shooters must always happen, whether you're tired or not. The All-Star Game MVP. about a guy like this, except that he fits the title of this segment. He was definitely cold in this game. We had picked him for you. Here are the top plays. Number two. Number one. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose, and it's been our pleasure to present you with some NBA basketball.
going to say this right now. This All-Star game was one to remember. And the reason why it was so memorable was because of the one showed out in this All-Star game, Max. This is a memorable one. Yeah, you're saying a lot about an exhibition game. I know I've, I've criticized the effort in the All-Star game in the past. I am guilty of that. But the bottom line is the one turned his game up for this All-Star game. Be that as it may, Stephen A., the competitiveness of an All-Star game isn't even like a regular season game, let alone a playoff game. You know what? You're still doubting my man. You're still doubting the one. And you will rue the day you do that, Max <laughs> Kellerman. You keep your eyes on this kid for the second half of the season. He is going to show out. And you'll be thanking me later. Did you say rue the day? Yes. <laughs>